Hello, welcome back to my channel. This time I want to make a review of this system. Uh, this system, as you see, doesn't have any brand, but you will can, or you can find it uh, as also as uh, Mi Wire or My Wire or whatever funny way your language have to pronounce uh, letters. Uh, I will leave I will leave a link in the description. Uh, this must be the fifth video I record about this and not because I did publish them but I been recording many iterations of this video because over the time I discover uh, a few cool things but many flaws that render this system at least for me unusable for play you'll see they are a very very neat very nice system they come cheap cheaply packaged this is the transmitter the receiver and there is a an empty space for probably a second receiver okay for, for i don't know they, they decided to go with this packaging it comes with the headphone jacks and a few charging cables, uh, USB-A to USB-C, and USB-C to USB-C. They have uh, amazing battery life. They, they have, as I did measure, seven and a half hours of battery life. The range is amazing because they transmit in 5.8 gigahertz, but they have many flaws. The first of all is, uh, the volume control on the receiver because the transmitter also have volume com control but I'm going to explain why later uh, the volume control is very choppy you have like 0 0.1 like 3 uh, 5 7 and 10 you don't have more levels it's, it's very it's very quite uh, I don't know it's very choppy I, I don't like the volume control and the other major flaw that is somewhat resolvable if you want to take aside the latency issue they have the other issue is the impedance if you connect almost any kind of headphone the impedance or the resistor the resistance sorry uh, that the that the driver produce is not is low enough to roll a lot of bass from this. So the amplifier here is not quite power powerful and it's going to have a lot of trouble reproducing the basses. Okay, it is going to cleanly reproduce the high frequencies, but the bass is going to, to lack a, lo a lot of volume. Now, uh, putting that aside, because that could be potentially solvable if you put a headphone amplifier like you put you this one goes connected to the console and this transmit wirelessly the signal to the receiver and here you connect the headphones okay if you bypass the headphones and you make a connection between the headphone output a headphone amplifier to the input and then from the headphone amplifier this is battery controlled also from the headphone amplifier to your headphone you will recover like 100 percent the the lack of bass that that impedance issue because this this is a high impedance input and a low impedance output so it's going to be good the problem with this system is the latency the latency the latency is in that range that is not as high as the Bluetooth, okay? When you try to play with Bluetooth, you are going to immediately, consciously notice your ears are going to notice the the difference between you you hit the note and the no, uh, sound actually coming to you through the headphones, okay? They are quite fast, but they are not as fast. As, as you wish you know there are there is certain latency threshold where 
If you play slowly, you have no issues, but if you slightly increase the, the speed, especially if you are making a, 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 and I am not talking about dream theater level so, solos. I am talking an immediate, uh, a mediocre, uh, simple solo. If you try to play something slightly faster, you are going to feel like something is off. Something is not quite right. It's like if, if you were drunk or something like that, you will start missing some in between notes. You will feel like your head, your your hand uh, weights a little bit more. It's it's strange. It's that kind of range of of latency that you don't notice with your your ears, but it's certainly there, and that it is very unpleasant to play with it. Maybe only maybe over time you can. Uh, get used to that amount of latency, but I don't like it, okay? So for me, this system is not worth it at, at this point after playing a, a, a couple of hours with it or trying to play because, I, again, I was feeling like numb, like something is off. So for me, this system is not that good for playing but it's, it could be amazing for transmitting audio from point A to point B, okay? Maybe you have, a, 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 no, I don't know, maybe you want to reproduce some music with your, with your cell phone, or maybe you want to monitor because you are, I don't know, in charge of the front of house, and you want to monitor something or you are a DJ and you want to monitor the music and the timing or, or, or something like that because the latency is not that high, okay? It's kind of high for me for playing but not that high for, for DJ or something like that or maybe to control certain instruments coming in and coming out uh, to, I don't know, listen in your home, uh, some podcast because they have amazing range, they have better range than any Bluetooth. I've been managed to get up to around 50 meters in plain sight and around uh, 8 to 9 meters uh, even with thick walls in between. And the sound is decently good. So maybe you want to be at home and, and they are pretty, pretty lightweight, few grams. They, they are weight less than a chocolate and the battery lasts alone. So maybe you want to, to hear some music, some podcasts, I don't know, things like that. But for playing, I was hoping they were like the solution to those 2.4 gigahertz uh, systems, but they not, they, they are not. Okay, I have a theory because I, I managed to to get uh, another 5.8 gigahertz system. And they have a completely different issue in the sound. It's not latency, it's noise. And I have a theory why that, that is happening. And maybe that is a potential problem of the 5.8 gigahertz. And that's why uh, there are, even, even the, the brand that I'm going to review later, uh, they went back to 2.5, 2.4 gigahertz because maybe there is something, uh, some issue with that technology. So to, to, to resume, I, maybe I'm going to post uh, a few screenshots because I did manage to record the output of the system at the same time with the output without the system, I mean. I did connect my piano here with me, uh, with this. My piano have two main outputs, it, sorry, one output. It have the stereo main output and it have a uh, headphone output. So I did connect the headphone output to here. It transmitted to this one and this one I connected to my multi-input digital console. And the main output of the piano, I connected directly to my console. So I can effectively see the two waveforms, both waveforms with the system and without the system. And I can see how much uh, phase shift is 
from one system to from the system to uh, direct output. So I can show you maybe in a screenshot, maybe maybe a very quick video. I will show you how much latency does this system have. And uh, hopefully I'm going to do the same with the uh, Nux uh, uh, system, the, the B7 PSM, I believe, the tiny one ones that I managed to get and, and, and thankfully I managed to, to test also to confirm that the issue is system-wide, is in all of the devices, not in, not in, in only my system. Hopefully I will make that latency measurement too. And maybe I will start making latency measurements on this kind of systems for you to decide if the latency is enough or not. So uh, without further ado, uh, thank you very much for, for uh, your, your time in this video and I will proceed to show you uh, the latency of this system. Okay, as I told you before, I did record uh, in my previous unreleased videos, I did record the audio coming out from my, the headphone or the main output of my piano, which is these two, the stereo information. And this one is the same uh, piano output, but going through the uh, headphone system, through the wireless in-ear system. Uh, as you can see here, I, I, if I make a long, long, long zoom into it, I have the starting of the audio, which is the starting of, of the direct output of my piano. It starts here. And here I have the output or, or the starting point of the output of the wireless system. So there, there is a time delta between them and the time delta here, as I did measure, it was uh, 27 milliseconds. And I did repeat that a couple of times in, in other points of the, of the audio here and here the time delta is 26 milliseconds. If I measure that, this is milliseconds, milliseconds. That difference is 26 milliseconds. So it's kind of high for, for my taste. Uh, a delay of maybe eight milliseconds, 10 milliseconds. It's kind of the range of okay but uh, 26 milliseconds for me, at least that I can notice that very well, is not, not quite good. So with this information, I hope you can decide if this system is good enough for you or not. Um, this is, by the way, this is what I was playing. So that's, that's both outputs at the same time. So thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next wireless in-ear system that I'm going to review. Bye-bye.